Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'll cover how to start grapes from a cutting. So what you want to do is wait till the grapes go dormant over the winter and all the leaves shed and all you are left with is these little sticks, you know, uh, the grapes are, are going dormant. Then you wanna take cuttings from these, from these stems. What you want to do is leave a couple of nodes, leave two nodes and then get and cut the stem right above the second, the last second node. So here it is. Here's the cutting that I'll be starting from. So here's it, here I'm gonna take a cutting. So you gotta leave one or two nodes and you can see the stem is green from the inside. So I'm leaving one node right there. I'm gonna leave two right there, two nodes and here's the cutting. And then I'm gonna do the same on, on this one as well. I'm gonna get quite a few cuttings here. I'm gonna need leave one node because the second node is pretty far away. So I'm going to leave one node right there and there you go. All right, now it's time to start planting these grapes. I can hear the birds, so, so beautiful. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these grape stems to size. I'm going to peel off some of the bark and plant them in the pots. So I have all of these pots that are filled here with this seed starting soil. So this contains a lot of compost, worm castings, and um, coconut coir as well. And you want to start with a very deep pot because you want the roots to develop. If you start with a shallow part, the grape roots will not develop as well. So you need a really deep, at least eight inches. All right, now it's time to start cutting these stems into sections. I'm going to cut these stems into sections into about 12 inches or one foot length. So that's about 12 inches. I'm going to make a cut right there. All right, so Here's my cutting right here. And now I'm going to peel this bark off. Check it out, it's all green inside. So I'm going to peel the bark off. There you go. All this green bark is ready to start rooting. And now I'm going to plant this stem in this part by just pressing it down and then pressing the soil all around it. You want to make it really compressed so that there's no air in it. And then you want to water it and it's ready to start growing. All right, here's some water. And it's all set and ready to grow. So it's been two months and the grape cuttings are growing absolutely great. They have sprouted leaves and it takes a while for grapes to sprout leaves. However, that does not mean that they have roots. So it also takes a little bit more time for them to develop roots as well. So this is how they look like after two months. The cuttings have developed a few sets of leaves. I started quite a bit of cuttings and they are all doing really well. Each one of the nodes is sprouting the leaves. I started all of these cuttings in our greenhouse. Keep the cuttings in a greenhouse or indoors to get a head start on growing grapes. Otherwise, the grape cuttings will not start growing until the weather becomes favorable in spring. I also have quite a few grape cuttings that were started a few months ago. This is the one that was started four months ago and check it out. It's developing a new stem. It has quite a few leaves as well and it's turning into a vine. Grapes are vining varieties. Vining not like they cry a lot. Vining means they like to climb up on a trellis. So this is four months of growth. The grape cutting has a new stem. It has quite a few leaves as well. And they're all looking really healthy. So after four months of growth, the grape cutting is ready to be planted into the ground. It has lots of root after four months of growth. However, I have a grape cutting that's been growing for six months. And this is what it looks like right now. It has lots of vines coming out of the stem and is screaming to be planted into the ground. It has lots of roots as well. So let's check out the roots. Well, there are the roots. Looking really healthy. It has developed quite a few roots. Check out the big one right here. So after it gets lots of root structure, they're ready to be planted into the ground. So before planting, water the plants thoroughly because if you're planting into the dry ground, you don't want your plants to dry out right away. So water thoroughly and then plant. So I'm ready to plant these into the ground. And you don't have to wait six months of growth before planting them. You can actually wait, you know, you can even wait a year if you wanted to and they will keep growing in pots. However, you can plant them just after three to four months. So I already have my drip tube here so I can water after planting. So I'm digging a hole. 
I'm going to dig a deeper hole because the pot is pretty deep and I want the roots to go deeper. And here you go. Taking the plant out. Placing it right in the middle so that the top of the soil surface in the pot is level with my soil surface here as well. All right, so I'm also adding a little bit of compost around this, mix it into the soil. There you go. And then I'm going to water it one more time. Water all the soil all around it. and fill it in again so that all the water is underneath. The second one, I've already mixed a lot of compost into the soil. As you can see, the black compost with the soil. So let me create a space for the plant here. Take the plant out and place it right in the middle. And fill it in. Water it, water all the soil all around it. And fill it in. All right, the grapes have been planted. This is how easy it is to start grapes from cuttings and you can create lots of great plants to plant in your home and in your backyard. You can also plant these in big containers as well and grow these in containers too. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.